Hello everyone and welcome to this specialist trading presentation of the three key, key strategy rules. Hello and welcome. My name is Stephen Primo and we're giving you this presentation today where we're also going to be talking about our elite stock trading college. Now the rules I'm going to be sharing with you today are part of our college. They make up one of our most consistent strategies in the college and we're going to give you all of the rules so get out your pencils and paper today. Included with that we're going to show you a great trading tool that's included in the college that actually would have had you out of the market three weeks ago as well if you wanted to be short you could have been short three weeks ago in the markets we're going to show you exactly how you could have implemented that as well once again welcome my name is Stephen Primo I am the president and founder of Specialist Trading we are first and foremost an educational company I was talking with a trader today and he said that basically uh, what we do is we just educate people I said exactly see it's our philosophy that the reason why most traders lose is because they're relying on outside sources to tell them what to do. So what we do is we provide all of our students and members with education, things that have stood the test of time so that hopefully you can empower yourself with your own trading decisions. Uh, the education is from my resources, what I've accumulated in my own experience in my 37 year career of trading. I started on the floor of the Pacific Stock Exchange and everything that I accumulated while trading on the floor through the crash of 87 and the great bull market that followed after, I teach and mentor to my students. So uh, this is included with all of our courses as well as the Elite Stock Trading College. Now before we get into today's presentation, I ask that you please take a moment to view our disclaimer. I'm going to show you some performance results as well as give you the rules to one of our uh, probably most consistent strategies, but please remember that we can in no way guarantee that any of the results I'm about to share with you will be repeated in the future. So please take a moment to view our disclaimer before we begin today's presentation. And as you're taking a second to view that, I also would like to uh, invite each and every one of you to follow us on Twitter. There's our handle right there, abbreviation for Specialist Trading. It's at SPC LST T R A D G. We post information on a daily basis, anywhere from daily uh, trading wisdom to um, actual signals that we're currently in. We just posted a number of great signals in different stocks, as well as the Forex markets, as well as showing you uh, what current positions we're in. So I invite each and every one of you to follow us on Twitter. All right, let me start out today's presentation just by going into a little bit of philosophy about what we do at Specialist Trading. Then we'll go into all of the educational portion of this webinar. Uh, I, as I stated, I've been trading for 37 years, but I really got my education into trading when I was on the floor of the Pacific Stock Exchange. I was on there for 16 years, and nine of those years I was a specialist for DLJ. And I know a number of you are probably saying, well, sure, it's easy for you to uh, be consistent and make money because you were on the floor and, and you learned how to tape read and you were also uh, you know, privy to all this inside information and where the book was. Well, that's not really true because my first year or two, I couldn't make a dime. Even though I had all this inside information, supposedly, that everyone talks about, I, I couldn't make ends meet. And it was because I was listening to the same education that everyone else does. I'm trying to pick tops and pick bottoms. That's what we're always told, that things are overbought or oversold. In fact, I'm sure a lot of you may have lost money today trying to pick a bottom or even trying to pick tops when the market started to rally. So uh, I was doing the exact same thing. I was uh, you know, listening to all the, the trading pundits, all the gurus. I was uh, you know, watching all the fundamental news that was coming out, and nothing seemed to work. So basically, Everything that I've been taught wasn't working, so I didn't understand it. I thought this is what I needed to be successful, but it wasn't working at all. So my mentors really turned my way of thinking around, and this is what they explained to me, and this is what I teach all of my students in our courses. First of all, successful trading should be non-subjective. What does this mean? Well, it means that two people, two traders, looking at the same chart or same setup should come up with the exact same scenario. In other words, they shouldn't be coming up with uh, one, one trader would say, well, this is a buy setup, and the other one would say, no, 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 this is a short setup. But you see, we do that on an everyday basis with news. A news event will come out, and someone will say that's bullish. Someone else will say, no, 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 that's bearish. We do the same thing with chart patterns. We do the same thing with indicators. So trading should not be subjective. There shouldn't be a lot of room left for discretion. Even though we use uh, and apply discretion in our strategies, it's not this type of discretion we're talking about. We're not talking about insight or experience. We're talking about mostly guesswork. We should not have any type of guessing in our, any or all of our trading. They also taught me that not only should it not be subjective, but trading should be consistent. 
All right, so what does this mean as well? Well, it means that we're not promising the world. I know a lot of webinars you may be attending or traders or teachers that you had promise you the world and say you'll be making so much money by the end of the year, so many percentage, or you'll be supporting yourself. What we teach at Specialist Trading is consistency. That means your approach should have two step forward, one step back. We want you to have this nice upward slope in your equity curve. Now, from time to time, we will hit those home runs. We will um, show you some examples today of how it just happened within the last couple of weeks. But we're not aiming for that. Our goal is just to hit singles. All right? We want to have nice consistency on our trading. Why? Because any fly-by-night strategy or system can produce tremendous gains, but they can also lose them. But uh, over time, I've seen that the methods that are more uh, consistent the ones that are uh, two steps forward, one step back, will have you trading 20, 30, 40 years down the road. Because from time to time, we will have small losses, but you will not be taken out of the market with a small loss. So this is what we're looking for. And then they also said trading should be as simple as possible. And here's a great way to see what that simplicity means. We're not only talking about a, a small number of rules in our strategies, anywhere from three to six rules at most, but we're talking also about traders who have been trading for a long time and making their trading overcomplicated. In other words, looking at far too many things, too many indicators, listening to too much, uh, you know, uh, chat rooms or being involved in too many trade rooms, the uh, trading rooms, uh, uh, following too many, uh, you know, news events, uh, just too many things to overcomplicate your trading. My mentors taught me that. They said, Steve, if you notice, the people that have been trading for anywhere from three to five years, a relatively short amount of time, have the most complicated of all trading plans. They're very difficult to follow and difficult to even explain or teach. But the traders who have been trading anywhere from 20, 30, 40 years down the road have very simple trading plans, maybe three, four, five rules at most, and that's it. So this is what we want to emulate, that simplicity, because that is what will get us on that road to consistency. And then lastly, and most importantly, what my mentors taught me and what we teach all of our students at Specialist Trading is that successful trading should make you a part of the process. Remember, I started out this presentation saying how the reason why most traders lose is because you're taking yourself out of the game. You're relying on too many outside sources to make your trading decisions for you. They can either be a news event. They can be someone in a trading room or a chat room telling you what to do or someone on TV. But the minute you do that, you take yourself out of the game. And what we teach is that the trading decision should come from you and you alone. So even though we provide all of our members with strategies and signals for that, it's more about having you recognize them so that you can ultimately decide if you want to take that, how you want to trade it, where you should be entering, if you want to trade advanced or conservative. It's totally up to you. So you have to be a part of the process. Look at your own trading. If you're having a difficult time, Look back and see why you're making a trading decision. Are you listening to someone on TV? Are you making all your decisions based off of what someone told you in some trading room or chat room? Are you trying to make your decision based off of uh, an outside source like Fundamental News? Remember, we take outside sources with a grain of salt. The main thing we focus on is just the chart in front of us. These are the same things that were taught to me, all of these categories, and these are the same things that ultimately got my trading to be consistent. So this is what I teach to all of our members and all of our students here at Specialist Trading. Okay? So that's a little bit about the philosophy of Specialist Trading. And as you can see, we are an educational company. My goal is not simply to force feed you signals as so many other sites do and tell you we're long here, you should buy here, you should sell here. Sure, we give you insight on where you should be buying and selling. But ultimately, it's to teach you how to trade so you can make your own trading decisions. That is what ultimately will get you on to that road to consistent, successful trading, which I know you're searching for. Okay? So my goal is not to force feed you signals, but to teach you how to trade. And this is what we do in our elite stock trading college as well. All right, so here's the curriculum for the college. And before I get into it, I also want to mention that uh, you, we don't have a large crowd here today, but uh, usually I like to take questions at the very end of the presentation. So if you have any questions, if something doesn't make sense, or you'd like to ask about something that I'm sharing with you, please write it down, and we will get to it at the very end of today's class, okay? All right, so we're going to be talking about the stock college and a specific strategy within the college, which I'm going to share some of the rules of it with you. But just to go over the curriculum, it's a six-week course, all right? 
and we're going to be sharing with you the foundation of building blocks of the, in the first weeks. A lot more of a philosophy, a lot more of our concepts, a lot more of uh, telling you uh, about what indicators and what tools we use. And then we're going to get into the bulk of the strategies, our most popular and consistent strategies. Then in weeks five and six, we're going to get into some special tools that we use that can even heighten and give you more odds for success. Now, I know most people are interested in the strategy. So let's start out right there and share with you what we actually teach and show you some examples of these strategies. Now, the first strategy we're going to be covering is strategy number one. This is a great pullback strategy. Uh, I know a lot of people like to trade pullbacks within stocks. This is a great strategy for trading, probably our number one strategy for trading pullbacks. It has an uncanny ability to find those bottoms in an uptrend or those tops in a downtrend. In fact, let me show you some recent examples in Apple here. As you can see, at each one of these spots, it looks as if we were headed lower and the market was rolling over. But at each one of these lows, a buy signal was generated using our proprietary strategy number one. So remember, we don't try to pick tops and bottoms, but if our proprietary tools tell us and deem that we are in an uptrend, well then we're looking for bottoms within an uptrend. Or another way to describe that is we're looking for pullbacks. So each of these trades uh, was uh, spotted by our, our course members and they were, had the uh, you know decision to make whether they wanted to take them or not. So that's strategy number one. Then we get into over into a little bit more advanced strategy. It's strategy number eight. Strategy eight is great for catching these large moves uh, in either direction. It's based off of uh, one tool, one indicator, and we alter it and edit it a bit just so that you, we explain all this in the course. But it's extremely simple, and it's really uh, a lot of times used for many times you'll see a nice large run in a stock either way, and then when you think it's finished, strategy number eight will generate another signal telling you that there's more room left in that direction. Now uh, here's, uh, as you can see, uh, a chart in FCX. Now this was an actual uh, signal, actually two signals here at the top. It was almost as if we were giving a pullback scenario. But when you saw that we had this nice run uh, to the downside and it looked as if maybe we were forming a bottom, once again, strategy number eight generated a sell signal just about three weeks ago, giving you more room to the downside. So this is another great strategy. This has a uh, not a fix, but a dynamic exit. So you can, you have to wait to see where you're going to be exiting. You don't know in advance. Sometimes you'll exit with a point or two gain. Other times you may be exiting with a 10 point gain. But we're going to be talking and sharing with you the rules to probably our most consistent and probably our most popular strategy today. That's strategy number four. So who is strategy number four designed for, all right? Who is strategy number four best suited for? Well, it's for all students, from beginners to advanced. We have people trading strategy number four that have been trading for two weeks, and we also have hedge fund managers who have been trading for 20 years. Everyone gets the same rules. They're, they're not going to be uh, you know, taught a different method uh, depending upon how long you've been trading. So everyone sees the same information, and then once you uh, have the basis for it, well, then we work with you to alter it and to fit your needs, but we still keep the same basic format to strategy number four in the beginning, all right? It's for traders basically looking to catch quick momentum moves. So if you want to trade the standard basic format of this, you're in and out rather quickly. And many times you'll get these signals which appear to be uh, pullbacks and they can also appear to be consolidation patterns. But we're always going to be trading in sync with a trend. It is a pattern recognition strategy. So we're not really relying on any type of indicators the way we would with strategy number one or number eight. We're only relying on a specific pattern that we're looking for. Okay? All right, so let's talk about some of the highlights. So we shared with you who it's for. Let's talk about some of the highlights of this particular strategy. It's based on concepts one and two. This is what we go over in the first week, but I'll just share with you. The concepts one and two are simply always trade in sync with the trend and only trade pullbacks or consolidation patterns within the trend, okay? These are concepts one and two of our philosophy of trading. The only trouble is most people say, well, sure, I know all about this. I mean, why doesn't it work for me? Well, because most people have a different idea of what the trend is, and most have, people have a different idea of what a consolidation pattern and or pullback is. So we really go into detail and break it down and tell you exactly what you should be looking for. As I just stated, this strategy is designed to trade quick momentum moves. So usually you're in the trade in and out rather quickly, anywhere from one to five bars or one to five days. 
But remember, once you get the basic format, we teach you ways in which to extend your game. So should you want to stay in the trade longer, which I'll show you some examples, uh, you, you can do that much uh, easier with all the information we teach you. Now it's intensity level from one to three. If one were the most intense, meaning that you couldn't leave your chart or your, your charting platform at all, you had to stare at your screen all day long. And three was the least, meaning that you could basically enter an order and walk away. Strategy number four falls right in the middle. It's a intensity level two. So it's very moderate, very simple a strategy to apply. Its main indicator is just one. We're only using one indicator in this, extremely simple, which we call the buy-sell line. And that's one of the rules I will be sharing with you in just a few moments. I'll share and tell you exactly what it is and how to apply it. There's only one standard version for quick gains. In other words, if you want, once again, if you're trading this, uh, whether you're trading 20 years or whether you're trading five minutes, everyone gets the standard version. Then we just show you ways in which to alter it based off of that standard version. The best thing about this strategy, and, and one of the reasons why I think it's probably the most popular out of all of our strategies, is that you can apply it to any time frame. So if you like to intraday trade stocks, it works well. You can apply it to any direction, whether you're going long or short, and you can apply it to any market. So you can also use this if you trade the E-minis or if you uh, trade Forex markets. It works that well in all the markets. But as always, just as we teach and mentor to all of our students, Learn the strategies first. We're all about educating you. We don't just want to, you know, with all of our courses and classes, we don't just throw you the information and say, well, good luck. Uh, let us know how you do. We're there with you every step of the way. And one of the things we teach and suggest to all of our students is to paper trade. So I'm going to give you three rules of this strategy today. I believe it only has five rules altogether. I'm going to give you the bulk of the rules to today. And you're going to, your eyes are going to light up and think, boy, this is so simple and so easy. But please, paper trade this for a while. Remember, our edge here is consistency. Uh, from time to time, we will hit these tremendous home runs using strategy number four. But our goal is not to hit a home run. Our goal is to hit singles. So that's what we're looking for. Because singles are what are going to sustain you. If you've been having trouble with your trading career, if you're you know, worrying or in doubt that you're going to be trading much longer, I know exactly how you feel. That's the way I felt when I was trading on the floor. I didn't think I was going to be on the floor much longer because nothing was working. I would have three or four great trades, and then my fifth trade, I would give everything back. And I knew that uh, you know my company wasn't interested in that type of a trader. So I was basically trading water, and nothing was working. So what really sustains you over time is consistency. Not looking for that home run, but looking for sound education that has stood the test of time, that has this two step forward, one step back approach. Okay, so here are the indicators we're going to be using. And remember, this is being recorded. I know a lot of you would say, well, boy, Steve, I didn't get a chance to write that down. Can you please go back? All of this is being recorded. At the end of the presentation, uh, you can request a link uh, to this uh, 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 recording so you can watch us as many times as you'd like. But we're only using one indicator with strategy number four. That's our buy-sell line. And what is the buy-sell line? Well, it's just the 50-period simple moving average. That's all it is. All right. But the way we use it is that if price is above the 50, we're only looking for buy setups. If price is below the 50, we're only looking for sell setups. And I don't know a lot of you would say, boy, that's that's too simple. That, that That's too easy. All right, well, let's go back. Why don't you do some homework right now? Pick any stock, any stock that you want. I don't care what it is. And plot a 50-period simple moving average. All right? Now, the way the market has been uh, uh, trading the last couple of weeks, don't you think you would have liked to have been out of the market or only short uh, roughly two to three weeks ago when prices were below the 50? So many people have lost money this last week or so trying to pick a bottom. But if you use this simple buy-sell line, once you have two or three closes below that, you know that you're no longer long anymore. You should be getting out, tightening up your stop, or you should be looking to go short. So go back and pick any stock you like. And as well, pick any time frame. You can pick a 10-minute time frame or a weekly time frame. doesn't matter. All right. So the way we use this is we use the same concept with strategy number four. And here are the rules we're going to be sharing with you today. All right, now these are buy rules. They're uh, three of the core of this of the strategy. Uh, you can write these down. Once again, this is being recorded, so you can request a link so you can look at this at your own leisure. But remember, uh, all we're going to do is show you the buy rules. Just simply reverse these rules if you want to use it to go short. 
remember this works in any market and in any time frame. So it doesn't matter if you're looking at daily bars, weekly bars, five minute bars, you will apply the same rules. All right, rule number one, if we're going long, remember these are buy rules, closing price must be above the 50 period simple moving average. So even though intra bar may be below and you may have a couple of bars below the 50, the setup bar that I'm going to be sharing with you and teaching you how to find should close above the 50 period moving average. All right, so what is the setup bar? Well, we're going to look to buy when a price bar closes in the top 25% or top quarter of its range. Now, I know a lot of people get confused. They go, well, Steve, are you talking about from open to close or are you talking about the, the candle? Or Forget about all that. Once again, that's overcomplicating your trading. Range simply means the high of the day and the low of the day. How many points was that from the high subtracting the low? Okay, let's say the high of the day was 84 and the low of the day is 80. So what's the range? The range is four points. All right. So all you want to do is divide that by four. So obviously starting from 80, when you go up to 81, that's the bottom 25 percent. 80 and a half will be the next 25 percent. 80, uh, I should say um, 82 would be the next 25 percent. 83 would be the, the, the next 25 percent. And the last one would be up to 84. So if you close in that top 25%, that top quarter, that's going to be the setup bar. All right. Now here's rule number three. We're going to enter to buy if and when price trades one tick above that setup bar is high. Now it does not have to close above there. A lot of people get confused and they say, well, Steve, it didn't close there, so I didn't buy it. It does not matter if it closes there. All it has to do is intra bar trade anywhere from one tick to five ticks. It's your discretion. Okay. But here's the one caveat with strategy number four. It must trade on the next bar there. Because if price bar does not trade one tick above the setup bar's high on the next bar, well then we negate the trade. There is no setup and we look for another setup, okay? Why? Because we're trying to catch momentum. And if we don't go above on the next bar, most likely, not guaranteed, but most likely the momentum has dried up and we're not going to be going higher. I'm going to show you some examples of how well these rules will help you with your trading. All right, so let's go by these three rules step by step. Now, as you've seen, we did not share with you the other rules such as, well, where do I exit? All right, and where do I place my stop? The two other rules in the plan. We can't share those with you because those are in the course. And it wouldn't be fair to the people who have spent hundreds of dollars learning this uh, and be mentored by me. And they say, well, Steve, that's not fair. I spent a lot of money uh, to trade this and now you're giving it away for free. But I just gave you the core of the rules on how to actually use this and how to enter it. All right, so let's take it step by step in case you didn't get those, uh, you know, or they didn't really make sense to you. A lot of times it makes much better sense when you see them uh, displayed in a, a uh, graph form. All right, step number one, we want to see price close above the 50 period simple moving average. All right. Remember, if you have any questions, we won't get to them till the very end. So uh, there's a box I have to open in order to see your questions. I'm not even going to open that until we get to the very close. So I'll get your answers and uh, questions and answers in just about 20 minutes from now. All right. Here's an older chart in Amgen for educational purposes. Here's the 50 period moving average or the buy sell line. All right. So price is above. Now we have one bar here that closes just a little below and then the next bar goes below. But for all intents and purposes, price is above. So this means what? It means we're only looking for buy setups. I know a lot of you have been taught that, well, no, uh, this is a, uh, we, we can't go by, we, we have to go short because we're falling out of bed here and it's probably going to go lower. If price is above the 50, we're only looking to go long. All right, so what's going to be step number two? Rule number two is we're going to look to buy when a price bar closes in the top 25% or top quarter of its range. This is what we will label the setup bar. It doesn't mean we've entered yet. It's just a setup prior to entry. Okay, so we have Amgen going lower and we're looking for a bar that closes in the top 25%. You can see we've closed in the lower bottom, the lower half, the lower bottom. This could almost be the top 25%. This one obviously closes in the bottom quarter, but guess what? This closed in the top quarter of its range. You see that? If we divided this by four separate but equal parts, this bar closed. Not only did it close above the 50, but it closed in the top 25% or top quarter of its range. So therefore, we can label this a setup bar. Does this mean we're entering at the market? No, it just means we found the bar 
most likely prior to entry. And then rule number three is we're going to enter to buy when price trades one tick above the setup bar that we just located, one tick above its high. It does not have to close above there. All it has to do is trade one tick above there. Remember, obviously, we always encourage people to use their own discretion. Some traders like to say, well, you know, Steve, I like to wait for three ticks or even five ticks. That's fine. As long as you're not altering the rules, there's nothing wrong with that. You're still using the same concept for entry. But the only thing we do suggest is that if it doesn't trade one to five ticks, however many you want to apply on the next bar, you should negate the signal. Most likely the uh, momentum has dried up. So here is the setup bar we located. So the day ended here. We want to buy on the next day if we trade here. Let's just say this is two or three ticks above. All right. So the next day opens and guess what? It trades above there. In fact, it opens higher. So we buy on the opening. Now, as you can see, it went higher, but even closed lower. So someone would say, well, Steve, this didn't work. I thought it was supposed to go higher. We're only interested in an intra bar tick above. It doesn't have to close there. All right. So we've entered the trade roughly about 82. And guess what happened? The next five or six bars we went all the way up to 84, a couple of points. So we captured that momentum. So you see how simple these concepts are. We did all this without looking at any news, without worrying about what the earnings were, about wor worrying about what's going on across the, uh, you know, uh, the world. We don't care about that. The market tells you everything you need to know. The chart in front of you will tell you everything you need to know. All right, so let's look at some recent strategy for trade examples, okay? Here's Twitter, as you can see. The first thing we notice is that where is price? Price is above the 50 period moving average. So we are in no way going to try and short Twitter. We're not at all. We're only looking for buy setups. Now, once you become a member of the strategy for a course inside the elite uh, uh, stock trader uh, college, you will have an add-on that automatically generates buy and sell signals. This is a great learning tool, but ultimately we don't want you to rely on this because this would be no different than relying on someone in a trade room or a chat room telling you what to do. But they're great learning tools, and once you become a member, you will get this tool and it automatically generates where a buy or sell signal is. So right there you automatically know these were two setups according to the rules of strategy number four, and you would have entered on the next day, and look how the market continued to go up for the next three to five bars. If we look at GRMN, we obviously know we're only going to be going short. Why? Because we're below the 50 period moving average. All right. Our add-on automatically generated sell signals, three sell signals. This was at the uh, beginning of September onto the beginning of October. So all you had to do was enter on the next day to go short. And you could have entered, even though we're not an option class per se, you could have purchased uh, long puts. Uh, it's fine. It is, it's perfectly admissible to, to just instead of buying the actual stock to transfer into buy the puts. How about Facebook? Okay, well obviously we're only going to be going long. Why? Because we are above the 50 period moving average. Now the add-on generated buy signals on the 25th of August and then again on the 17th, just about three weeks ago of September. KORS we're only going to be going short because we're below the 50 period moving average. Okay, this is a chart up until I believe this last week. We have two signals here, one at the very top of this nice sell off and then another one this past week on the 10th, last Friday. And as you can see, all you have to do is enter the next day once you t trade one tick below and you see how strategy four captures momentum. Now, once again, people would say, well, you know, how did you know to do that or, or don't we have to worry about uh, you know earnings or don't we have to worry about what's going on in the world no we only have to worry about firstly where is price in relation to the buy sell line so if price is below this is all we need to know that right off the bat we know we're only shorting so half the battle has already been taken care of we don't have to guess whether to go long or short we know we're only going to be shorting then we look for bars that close in the bottom 25% and that meet all the other rules of this particular strategy. And then once we've located them, we simply sell when we trade one tick below. How about urban? Well, this was a little while earlier before. This was in August, but once again, we didn't need to know about the earnings. We didn't need to know about what's going on in the world. We only look that see that we're above the 50, so we know that we're going to be buying if we have a buy signal. Well, we got a buy signal right there, and then we purchased on the 19th. All right. Stock went uh, roughly 37 and a half long 
all the way up to uh, three points higher in the next couple of weeks or next week or so. QEP, well, this is an easy one. There's no way anyone, remember I said at the very beginning uh, that my mentors taught me that trading should not be subjective. In other words, two people should not look at the same chart and come up with two different, entirely different scenarios. Once you learn the simple techniques we teach you in the course, you see here that, well, this is simple. Price is below, so everyone would have to agree that you're only going to be selling. There's no way you would be buying QEP. There's no, absolutely no way according to our techniques and what we teach. So that's where we take the subject, subjectivity or guesswork out. All right? There's no way we would try to pick a bottom here. We're below the 50. So therefore, we're looking for strategy number four, uh, sell setups. We look for bars that close in the bottom quarter. And there's the one right there on the 18th. This was just about three weeks ago. And this is what we talk about where if you want to, if you want to trade a little bit more advanced, rather than getting out with a quick uh, couple of points, you could have stayed in this trade with the techniques we share with you in the course, in the elite stock trading course, and reaped all the benefits of this. This was, I believe, up until uh, today, I believe. Now, you can also use this on ETFs. Here's the ETF for the Russell 2000 index, IWM. As you can see here, this is where it gets a little bit tricky sometimes because we're above the 50 and then we cross below it and then we cross back above it. But once you become more advanced at trading strategy number four, and you'll see with this add-on that generates the buy and sell signals, you'll be able to recognize a signal that is valid regardless if it's bouncing above or below. Now this signal was valid because as you can see here, we closed in the bottom quarter and we closed below the 50. Even though we didn't have a lot of bars below, you could just tell that this was going lower. Why? Because the trend of the 50 was headed lower and the market was just very weak. The rallies were less and less, uh, you know, uh, had less and less bounce in them. So this could have been a trade you took on the 22nd, just about two or three weeks ago. And if you wanted to, you could have stayed in the entire time to the downside. Now, another thing a lot of our traders like to do uh, and our students is to use the ETF signals and then apply them to the market. So in other words, you could apply them either with options or you could use them just as a marketing tool and say, boy, if I get a sell signal in the QQQs, I'm going to look to short other uh, stocks that make that follow the same rules within the QQQs or just, you know, apply it in different ways. Case in fact here is we got a nice sell signal on the 10th. This was last Friday in the QQQs, okay? All you had to do was enter roughly about 96, and I believe this was taken up into, uh, yes, up until today, or went down four or five points in the next three or four days. Once again, you could have actually tried to short the stock, or you could have purchased long puts, or you could have said, well, if the QQQs are going lower because of a strategy four signal, well, then I'm going to short stocks that make up that index or up that ETF. Now, another great thing about Strategy 4, as we said, it also it trades different time frames. Going back about a month ago, here is a five-minute chart of Apple when the market was, was going higher. You can't see the 50-period moving average here, but price was above the 50-period. And so these were all the automatic signals that were generated to go long using the add-on and Strategy number 4. Now, here's another example in uh, Microsoft, a 10-minute chart using the same add-on, the same rules. A 10-minute chart were below the 50-period moving average, and this was from last Friday. All right? So you think, do you see how these concepts apply, regardless if we're trading daily bars or if we're trading weekly bars? All right? The same concepts apply. We're below the 50, we're only looking to go short. We're trading a 10-minute bar, or we're looking for bars that close in the bottom quarter of their range. These are all clues that the market has given you that it's most likely headed in a certain direction. Our job is not to tell the market that it's going to bottom out or it's going to top out. Our job is to simply listen and learn to listen to what the market is going to be doing and then jump on board. So that's all we're doing. We are in no way trying to outguess the market. We're just listening to it and then jumping on board. Now, these are great strategies. I shared with you strategy number one, a pullback strategy. Strategy number eight, a great uh, market strategy that will have you in uh, long trends, uh, especially when you think that the market is bottom or topped out. And then as well, our most popular strategy, strategy number four. They work the best with stocks as we've seen over the years. But the beauty is you can also apply them to ETFs as we just showed you, futures markets, Forex markets, Forex currency pairs, and commodities. We have traders and students who only trade these on commodities. For example, here's a chart of crude oil. 
All right, this is a crude oil going to the first. This was just a couple of weeks ago, two weeks ago, last Wednesday. Uh, same exact rules. Nothing is altered because we're looking at crude oil. We are below the 50, so this means we're only looking to go short crude oil. We see a bar here that even though the prior bar closed above, this bar closed below and in the bottom quarter. So you could have gotten short crude oil, roughly about 91 on the next day. This was on the first, and look what's happened to crude oil, okay? So the same concepts apply, the same rules apply. Now, along in the elite stock trader course, we also give you two extra bonuses. These, in our opinion, will even ramp up your odds for success. These are two great tools, the ATM as well as the Pet D. So what exactly are they? Well, the ATM is simply an abbreviation for the Advanced Trade Management Tool. Right? I can't go into too much detail. I don't want to give this away, but what it is is, is simply uh, for trade management, telling you when you should be trading and when you should not. So we've all had scenarios when we've been trading, uh, regardless of what market, regardless of what time frame, when things just work. These are actual signals of one of our strategies where everything just worked perfectly. When we shorted it, it went down. When we went long, it went up. All right. And this is what we all hope uh, that trading is like all the time. But unfortunately, many times because of market environment and different scenarios, this is what happens. Everything we do will be wrong. You buy something, it goes straight down. You sell something, it goes straight up. Even though we're following the rules, because of the market environment and because of the way the markets or the time frame you're currently trading is, is applied to the conditions, you'll get this whipsaw action. So what ATM does, it's designed to see that your strategy is currently out of sync and then it tells you at certain pinpoints when and when not to trade. So it's a great, great technique. I was taught this technique on the floor of the exchange and it's literally saved me thousands of dollars in my trading career. So we teach you this formula of how to apply this to your trading. Now in addition to that, we give you probably one of our most, uh, I would say, most powerful tools and that is the Pet D. Now the Pet D is the Primo Early Trend Detector. I use this on a daily basis. I traded with this today and it worked just phenomenally well trading, intraday trading uh, the markets. It's a great, great tool once again that was introduced to me on the floor but uh, unfortunately, when we were introduced to it on the floor, we could only apply it to daily bars because it's a formula that must be calculated. But now that we have high-speed computers and we have programmers, we will able to program it so that it is now a color bar tool. So the PET-D is a proprietary color bar tool that is designed to show you the short-term trend. In other words, when you get a series of green bars, it's telling you the short-term trend is up. When you get a series of red bars, the short-term trend is down. What a great tool because we know what the overall trend is. We shared with you the buy-sell line. If price is above, the overall trend is up. If price is below, the overall trend is down. But now you can fine-tune your entries with the pet D by having it be in sync with the overall trend. All right, let me show you what I mean here. Now, the beauty of it, as you can see here, is that it tells you which direction you should be trading. And once you know that, you can apply this to any strategy and to any direction. Because please remember, it is not a strategy. It is simply a great short-term trend directional tool. Okay? If all the bars are red, you are in a short-term downtrend. Conversely, if they're green, you're in a short-term uptrend. Now, you can also apply this to longer term. That's the beauty of this, all right? Here's a long-term chart of the, uh, the S&P index. These are monthly charts. Each one of these bars represents a month, going all the way back 20 years. We see all the peaks and valleys, all the swings and lows. If we apply the PET D, see how when we were going straight up, the, the majority of bars were green. And once we started going down, all of a sudden, the majority of bars turned red. Do you think this could have helped you in your long-term portfolio trading, keeping you on the right side of the market? Now, what we usually do is we use the three-bar rule. In other words, if you have a series of green bars, as you see right here, once you get three consecutive bars of opposite color, meaning red, that's your indication that a trend has changed. So right here, you could have exited the market roughly in 2001 and missed all of this sell-off. Once you got three consecutive Green bars, that was your signal to get back into the market. You could have ridden it all the way up until 2007 when you had three consecutive red bars and you would have missed the great uh, financial banking crisis that ensued after that, 2008 into 2009. 
Now in 2009, three more green bars appeared, and so you could have ridden this all the way up. Now you've had a splash of red bars, but remember the rule is three bars will tell you most likely a trend has changed. Okay, so we continue to remain long on a long-term basis. Now someone would say, well, Steve, I don't trade long-term. This I don't know how this can help me, and I don't really trade intraday the way you're showing. So I trade daily bars. How could this help me with the market? Okay, well, let's look at a current chart of the index, the uh, S&P index. This is going back to the last week of September and up until today, okay? So I took the snapshot around 9 or 10 o'clock this morning Pacific time. Do you think this tool could have helped you this past couple of weeks? Uh, going, coming into the last week of September, we had three consecutive red bars, all right? That was your clue to exit the market. Either if you were long, you were exiting at the market, or you were going to tighten up your stop. Or if you were thinking about being long, you would have most likely said, well, this pet D is pretty, it's a pretty convincing tool here. I think I'll sit on the sidelines until I get a more convincing scenario. Or if you were an aggressive trader, these past two to three weeks, you could have been shorting the market the way a lot of our students were. And so do you think it could have helped you? In fact, since we had the three consecutive uh, red bars, the market went down over a thousand points in the Dow. So this is how uh, powerful this pet D tool is because it gives you the confidence of knowing that you are in sync with the market. Right? This is included in the stock course that we're, we're talking about today. Another way to use the pet D is to confirm trades with the pet D. Now what do we mean by confirming trade? Well, if you get a strategy number four buy signal, you want to see that set of bar that we taught you how to locate today, you want to see that green because green means that most likely we're going higher, so it's okay to buy the stock. Okay, see how simple that is? Conversely, if you get a uh, strategy number four sell signal, well, you want the market to go down, so that means the pet D should be coloring that bar red. So let me show you how you can confirm this and any other strategy we're going to be sharing with you in the course uh, with the pet D. Uh, remember we talked about Twitter, how we had some really nice trades with that, and we had the, the uh, generated buy signals? Well, that meant that these buy signals should have been colored green by the pet D. So once we apply the pet D, we see that, well, yes, they were. So this was a great confirmation to take both of these trades. Now, we can also use this to help us stay out of trades. Now, this was coming into uh, August, uh, into the beginning of August. As we see here, you can apply this to an index to give you some type of market indicator. Now, we had a number of strategy number four buy signals that each uh, generated anywhere from two to 300 point gain in the Dow. Okay, so you could use this as a marketing tool, anything you wanted to use it, or you could have purchased options on this. But as you can see here, each one of these buy signals was confirmed. Why? Because the pet decolored it green. But coming into the beginning of August, we had another buy signal, but see how it was colored red. So right here, you would have said, well, you know, most people think we're going to continue to do the same thing we've been doing. But because I have the pet D, I don't think I'll take this long signal. And it's a good idea because look what would have happened to you had you been long. You would have resulted in a, in a, in a loss. So this is how the pet D can really help. So as I stated in the beginning of this presentation, we're about educating you. Even though we provide you with signals, as I've just shared with you, we gave you the rules, the major majority of the rules to one of our best strategies, and I've shared with you how the pet D works and how valuable it is. We're really about educating you, giving you this toolbox so that you can apply it as you see fit to meet your needs. All right. In fact, let me just show you how some of the stuff, how powerful this is. These were a few signals that were generated in eBay. Buy signals using strategy number four. As we see, this signal was generated and it didn't work. You would have lost on that trade. You would have been stopped out. Here was another signal generated and you would have lost as well. But what did we share with you today? Two of the things we shared, first of all, the pet D. If we get a buy signal, it should be colored green. All right. First thing we taught you, well, we have a buy signal. So we taught you all the rules to the strategy. So most likely you would have taken it if you didn't have the pet D, but we're including the pet D in this elite stock trader course. And guess what? The pet D would have kept you out of this trade because it was colored red. So you wouldn't have lost anything there. But then we had another trade here. This was colored green. So someone off the bat would have said, well, Steve, it didn't work on this one because it was confirmed by the pet D. You're right, it was. But what did we teach you earlier? 
we said that price has to trade one to five ticks above in order to go long, and it has to happen on the next bar. So as you can see, we never traded above there on the next bar. So the technique for entry I shared with you today on how to fine-tune your entry would have saved you another loss. So this is what we do. We teach you how to use and apply these educational techniques, things that were taught to me, so that you can, you know, not only, it's not only just about, you know, making profits and being uh, profitable, it's also about staying out of trouble. So here are two trades that most likely uh, one would have lost in, but because of what we teach you and how we mentor you, you would have fared all right. So here's the curriculum once again. In week one, we go over the foundation and go over a lot of philosophy and share with you a lot of the concepts behind specialist trading. In the following core of the uh, curriculum, we go into strategies one, four, and eight, which we went over and shared with you a lot of uh, how they work, and we even shared the rules. Then in week five, we, we go into the pet D and show you different uses and how to trade with it, and how to apply it. And then lastly, we sum it all up and put it together with advanced trade management. A great, great technique that has really saved me a lot of money. Also, for a year in the course, we also email you alerts. These are alerts and stock signals that I post and I, I generate through email to all of our members so that you can get an idea of what to look for. These are not all the signals that are generated on a nightly basis, but these are what I feel are some of the best signals for the next day. Now, this was emailed to all of our members on the 6th the buy setups and the sell setups according to all of our strategies. Now, if we look here, SNI, okay, this was a strategy number four sell signal. We tell you where to enter, where to place your different stops, where to exit. And if we look at the actual trade here, here's when the setup bar was initiated on the sixth. So you would have been able to take advantage of that great trade that all of our other members already were able to see. Now, remember, it's not so much that we want you to rely on this. This is a great learning tool so that you can verify your work. Or if I send you out a signal, you can say, well, I don't get that signal. How did Steve get that? And you can send me an email and we can talk about it, why a signal was generated. But this is just a perfect example of something that happened just last week and that you could have taken advantage of. Here are some of our uh, testimonials what traders have been saying. Uh, uh, so many traders have gone from never being consistent in their entire career to ultimately getting consistent in their trading. In fact, we had someone who sent us a testimonial just last week who said uh, for the very first time they were consistent. In fact, they paid for the course roughly in about the first two weeks of trading. And we also get testimonials not only from people who just started trading, but for also from hedge fund managers. Here's one from a hedge fund manager who stated, Primo's mentoring has been a cornerstone of my career over the last 25 years. As I type this note, 26 of 40 positions in our portfolio are from a swing tr strategy of Primo's that I specialize in. By the way, that was strategy number one, which we teach you in the course. Primo's greatest gift was separating me from my emotions and teaching me to listen to the market, which I also said. This is a uh, top hedge fund trader in, from Bikini Analytics. So remember, the points we want to stress and the points that turn my trading around were the same points that I teach you in this course Trading should be non-subjective. Two people looking at the same chart should come up with the same scenario. Trading should be consistent, all right? We know from time to time we'll get small minor losses. That's okay. That's perfectly normal. That would be comparable to, to someone saying, well, I don't want to fall down if you teach me how to ski. Everyone falls down from time to time. That's perfectly normal. It's the same way with losing. We just don't want to have those turn into major losses. That's what we teach you how to be consistent. Also, trading should be as simple as possible. I just shared with you three of the rules of strategy number four, and I'm sure you've probably got them down by now. It, it, that's how simple it is. All right? It doesn't get any more complicated than that. And then lastly, trading should make you a part of the process. I want you to make your own trading decisions. I want you to rely on us for however long it takes, either on the strategy signals or on my emails or uh, through correspondence with me or through uh, you know, the add-ons that generate buy and sell signals. I want you to add, uh, rely on those while you're learning. But once you understand and fully know the strategies like the back of your hand, you don't need to rely on any of those anymore. You can go on your own and trade. This is not a subscription service where you're obligated to pay me for years and years and years. Once you learn, that's it. You, you can be free to trade on your own. That's what most of our students do. All right, so let's recap real quick before we go into question and answers you may have. Here's what you can receive once you become a member of my Elite Stock Trading College. Weekly trading tools and techniques. Six weeks of live course action. 
We're going to share with you three proprietary stock strategies, three of our best strategies for trading stocks. In the strategies, we share exact stop placement, exit, and profit targets. Nightly signal service, as I share with you, the, the stocks that I feel hold the highest probability for success the next day. We also share with you how to trade conservatively and aggressively so that you can fit the strategy to meet your needs. As a bonus, we include the ATM, that's Advanced Trade Management, and the Pet D. But I think the most valuable thing about joining our course is that you get 37 years of trading experience. I know how frustrated you may be in thinking that, boy, I've been trading for three or four years. How long is it going to take me before I become consistent? Well, with my 37 years ex experience, I can shorten that learning curve for you so that you don't have to wait 37 years. You're going to learn all the ups and downs and things that you should be avoiding, the pitfalls and things that you should be concentrating on in this course. In a matter of weeks, you'll have 37 years of trading experience under your belt. The best thing about this is that you get instant access. This is nothing that you have to wait for weeks to be shipped to you or that it comes, uh, you know, uh, you know, through the mail and it takes a long time, you will have instant access. You get all this information once again, plus access to my personal email address. You can contact me anytime you'd like. We have uh, marketed and taught this trading college in the past only once before a couple of years ago. And this goes for sale, uh, this the recorded versions, not even the live version, closer to $5,000 on our website. We dropped the price because of our association with all of you, down $1,000, down to $39.95. But we didn't stop there. We decided to drop it even more, down to $34.95. And we've also included payment plans. But this is for a limited time only. So if you're seriously interested about taking your trading to the next level, take advantage of this special deep discounted price, $1,500 off the normal price, and come and join us in the Elite Stock Trading College. Now, if you want more information about this special offer we're giving you, you can contact our sister site. That's Pro Trader Strategies. They, they sell and market and promote all of my different courses and strategies. Uh, you can contact any one of their trading consultants at trading at protraderstrategies.com or call us directly at area code 310-598-6677. I want to thank you for sticking around. I'm going to answer each and every one of your questions now. If you just bear with me, I'll open up the uh, box. Um, if you asked if I was going to be covering stop loss and trailing stops and, and uh, risk management, I cover that in the course. Uh, 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 Itu, I believe is your name. Uh, I'm not covering that today, but in the course we cover risk management. I, I share with you the ATM. I'm going to be. That's a fantastic technique that I don't think anyone has, has ever taught before. This is once again a private a secret technique that was taught to me on the floor of the exchange. We also cover all the stop losses. I believe we have a total of seven different stop loss uh, techniques for, for initial stop loss and then trailing in the course. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, Gary says, your email states that you would reveal the rules for the strategy, not just some of the rules. I'd like to know uh, what the bars need to look like before the setup bar. Well, Gary, once again, that wouldn't be, uh, we just said we were going to review the rules. We didn't say we we're going to review the entire rules or reveal the entire rules. And once again, that wouldn't be fair. If you spent $5,000 on something, I don't think you'd like to see it for free in a video uh, that someone is, uh, you know, shopping around the, the net or, or uh, has a free webinar. But we did give the majority. And I think, uh, boy, if you are not at all interested in becoming a member of specialist trading, but you have some type of trading savvy, you can take the information I gave you today and say, boy, I can construct my own strategy based off this. I know well enough to decide where I want to place my stop and where I want to exit using this great technique. So, boy, I think what we gave you right now is, is worth its weight in gold, okay? Uh, Brian asks, how long does this signal stay valid? Is the trade negated if the underlying uh, doesn't trade uh, the signal bar for the next day? Yes, Brian, that was in the rules. In other words, strategy four states that it must trade the next day either above the setup bar or below the setup bar if you're going short. It has to do that. Why? Because we're trying to catch momentum. Remember, this is a momentum strategy. Strategy one is a pullback strategy, so it has a completely different set of rules for entry and exit and, and so forth. But strategy four is momentum, so we want to catch that momentum. Remember that example I showed you where the signal was generated in, the, um, in eBay, I believe, just a few moments ago. Uh, as you saw, it did not trade above, and look what happened. It went straight down after that. So that's 
technique kept us out of a losing trade. We don't want to simply buy at the market the way most traders do. We have to see that it trades above on the next bar. If it doesn't, we're out, okay? Uh, David asks, can this be used for options? Yes, it can. We have a number of traders, David, who trade options or like to trade options. And all they do is when they get a signal, let's say you got a signal in the QQQs, uh, as we showed you uh, last week, we had a signal generated on Friday. You could have just simply bought the puts, okay? You could just simply buy the puts and say, I'm, I'm going to choose. We don't go into detail about where, to, which uh, strike price to, to rely on and which options to purchase or for how long. We don't go into detail that because this is a straight stock course. But uh, it's very simple to apply because you'll see the consistency in this strategy, okay? Well, I can just share with you one thing. If you want to get those larger moves rather than just going for one or two points, which may not transfer over too well into options, we suggest our option traders to trade weekly bars. So with a weekly bar, if you get a signal on the strategy four, uh, oftentimes you'll get anywhere from five, 10, 15 points as opposed to one or two if you're just looking at daily bars, okay? Um, let's see, without uh, going too much uh, into detail, how does the PET-D differ from uh, parabolic SAR? Um, okay, Brian, the, the, the PET-D is, is basically, you know, that parabolic is, was mainly designed and used as a stop placement. Now, that is one of the, uh, the aspects and techniques of using the PET-D, but the PET-D's main motivation is to define the short-term trend. It's not so much about getting you out of a short-term trend. It's really about keeping you in. And it's based off entirely total different set of uh, uh, underlying requirements, okay? It's based off of momentum. That's the only thing I can share with you because it is proprietary. And at this point, we're not uh, uh, sharing the rules with anyone in any of our courses because it's that valuable. Uh, we have had hedge funds and companies pursue us that want to actually uh, license this. So we may go in that direction. That's another great reason for becoming a member of this because not only are you going to get the strategies and all the ATM and the different information included, you're also going to get the pet D. And if we license that, that may cost uh, thousands of dollars a year just to license it. So, uh, and that is an ongoing payment. So uh, it's in your best interest if you're interested in the pet D to become a member now and it's yours for life. Okay. Um, Brian says, uh, can we see the sell signals from the recent sell-off? Well, um, unfortunately, Brian, we can't because this is a, uh, a PowerPoint presentation. Uh, this is something that I put together, uh, and it's, it's not uh, dynamic. It's static. I don't have access to charts right now. They're all turned off so that they didn't uh, slow down this presentation. So, uh, unfortunately, we can't. But I just showed you things that happened within the last week. We, I showed you a couple of signals that happened last Friday. Uh, so. Uh, I think I believe I showed you uh, intraday a 10-minute bar uh, from Microsoft, uh, some great sell signals. I showed you on the QQQs a great sell signal on that as well on a daily bar. So you see it works in all time frames, in all directions, and in all markets. Uh, Peter asks, does your method work on Forex? Yes, it does. Each and every one of these strategies you can apply to Forex. I would say strategy number four works the best on Forex, though. And it works if you're intraday trading the Forex markets or if you're trading daily or weekly bars. Uh, it's, it's, a great, it's a great method. It, you know, I learned it on the floor. Uh, it's extremely simple but powerful. And you've just seen examples across the board of how well it works. I show you even examples of when it loses. But that's okay. We will have losses from time to time. Uh, E2 asks, is this strategy designed for time-based charts only? What about tick charts in trading futures? Is it just as optimal? Well, uh, I didn't want to uh, go too much into detail about other markets, but I'll just tell you that it works fantastic in tick charts in trading other markets. I, I told you I was using this today with the Pet D in trading uh, the E-mini futures. Uh, you know, so uh, it works in all markets and all time frames. Strategy number four it can be transferred over for tick charts if you're trading stocks or if you're trading the futures or even if you're trading currency pairs. And as well, if you want to confirm the trend, the short-term trend, you just apply the PET-D. I use this today. I had a, another winning day trading with this. So, it, it, you know, I practice what I preach. I use the same things that I teach my students. Um, let me just see here if there's any more questions. Remember, 
We originally uh, offered this for roughly about $5,000. We dropped the price $1,000, but we're also dropping it for the attendees another $500. So we reduced it $1,500 off its original price. In addition to that, we've included payment plans. So we realize not everyone can come up with it, the lump sum and say, well, I can begin trading. So you can design a payment plan with the trading consultants at Pro Trader Strategies. They'll put something together for you, and you can still be up and running in the college uh, with us in all of these live courses. So once again, this is all uh, thing. These are all things I learned in my 37-year career, and all things that I continue to use to this day. All right. So if you're interested in just signing up and getting the uh, $500 off on this promo link that we just shared with you, uh, you see in your chat box to the right, there is the link right there, the phone number underneath this. Simply click that on and it will take you to the page so that you'll be able to set up and just be up and running and, and set up right, uh, right away with the course. Okay. This is a great course. We really feel that if you want to start the new year right, we're getting towards the end of this year. It's going to be November in just a few weeks. If you've had trouble this year trading stocks, if you just haven't been able to get going, trust me, I know exactly what that's like. I, I, I always tell my students, don't you do not have to tell me how frustrating it can be. I know exactly how frustrating and how discouraging it is. You put so much work, so much time and energy, and you think you're doing well, and then you have a trade where you give everything back, and you're right back at zero again. So it's very difficult, very discouraging. If you want to get on that road to consistency, where you feel confident each and every day trading, I really suggest that you take advantage of this deep discount and become a member of my elite trading college. Remember, I'm there with you every step of the way. I'm trading right alongside with you, and you can access uh, me anytime. You can email me anytime. Uh, through my email address and contact me and ask me a question anytime you'd like, okay? Uh, Ken, uh, Ken Spain just says, I just emailed in my request for a payment plan. Well, thank you, Ken. Thank you so much, and I, and I, and I really appreciate it. And remember, we are all part of a family here, but our goal is to teach you, all right? I know a lot of educational companies will say, okay, Steve, well, uh, uh, what, what's the signal for tonight? That's not what we want to instill in our members. What we want to instill is, Okay, Steve, teach me how to do this so I can rely on my own signals, okay, so I can rely on my own uh, decision-making process. That's what we're trying to do, okay? So please, uh, um, um, I'm sorry, Ken, but just, I'm sorry about that, but it's, it's on display anyway. What you, what you write off here is on display anyway, but I, I apologize. But please remember that we are an educational company first and foremost, and we are more about teaching you how to get to the next level. In our opinion, the next level is not about hitting home runs. The next level is about basically being consistent, okay? Once again, there's the information you need right there in front of you. Pro Trader Strategies is our sister site. They market and promote all of our uh, courses, all of my trading strategies, all of my different courses. If you want to take advantage of this deep discount as well as get a very nice payment plan set up, please contact them and they'll put it together for you, okay? You see the... Uh, you see the uh, link on the right-hand side, or call us directly with the phone number right there, area code 310-598-6677. In conclusion, I want to thank you all so much for attending, and lastly, I look forward to all of you becoming my students at Specialist Trading and becoming members of the Elite Stock Trading College. Thank you so much for attending. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.